Hi guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to make this little tiny bench sofa for your bedroom. So if you did the fancy bling bed, this would go with that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, this is the back, on the very, very back, and then this is the back inner back. So this has holes in it and this does not. We want to set this one aside and then this one we want to go ahead and take this piece here that has like all these little weird notches in it and we want to go ahead and put some glue right here in the middle and then right here on this edge. we're gonna stick that right in there and we're gonna use our square tool to hold that straight that way we know that we're getting a good and level seat it will take a second to set up so be patient now you have two pieces that look like this you want to go ahead and put some crazy glue right in here, just like that. And then you need to put some in here. Just like that. Then you're going to take this piece and you're going to slide it right down in there and fit it in that spot. Again, use your square tool to make sure you have it in there nice and straight. We're gonna do the same exact thing with this side. And then I'm kind of going in at an angle a little bit because it makes it easier. And then you want to go ahead and attach it just like that. Make sure you have it straight and you have it all the way in. Don't glue your fingers if you're using crazy glue. If you're using wood glue, it will take longer to set up. So you're going to have to use like a masking tape or something to hold it in place until after you get it completely set up. Okay, now you have this piece and you have this piece. This one has holes and a notch at the bottom. This one does not. We're gonna go ahead and put some crazy glue right on here. I like to use the crazy glue and sometimes the combination of both because it does set up a little bit quicker for me however if this is your first time doing a kit you probably want to use wood glue because wood glue has a longer time for curing okay now we're gonna set this in here and then line it up there And that's what it should look like at this point. For some reason this doesn't want to go down all the way, so we're just going to help it. You can just do a little clamp there if it's not sticking. I don't know if I didn't have enough crazy glue on it or not, but that's what it looks like. Okay, so if you saw the bed, with the little bling, I'll show you that if you didn't. But that's what we're gonna do with this. This will be in part two because I wanna paint this. Okay, so here is the bed with bling. I don't know if you can see this or not with the little like rhinestone thingies in there. 
and then the same way with the headboard. It's the bed with the bling. Now this little sofa is meant to go on the side in the bedroom with that. Okay, it's a very similar thing in pattern. Not quite exactly the same because I've made this a little bit rounder because it's more of a little tiny like sofa bench. So that's what I did there. And now I want to go ahead and take this and I want to turn it over. And for this one, I'm going to do a combination of glue. I'm going to do a little bit of the crazy glue. As you can see, it looks like a lot. <laughs> and then I want to do a little bit of the wood glue. Now, I'm going to stand this up on a flat surface, and I'm going to line these up the best that I can to make them even with one another. And the glue should squeeze out in some areas. That's perfectly fine. Go ahead and take your rag or whatever you're using to wipe things with that's no good. And you want to put that on there like that. As you can see, as it squeezes it together, more comes out, and that's fine. Because it'll fill in any gap that you have when you put this here. So that's why I did the wood glue, so it helps fill in the edge a little bit to hide that seam between the two pieces. But because this is MDF and it's only printed on one side, it does not have the pattern on both sides. As you can see, there's a wood grain on this side, but on this side, there isn't. And because this pattern of this sofa is going to be unique, I did that in case you want to keep it with the wood without painting it. But because I did my bed in the white, I'm going to also do this in the white. Now, when I'm painting this, just so you know, I'm going to be aiming for the back and then the front and then I'm going to be aiming for the edge here, here, across the top, here, and then here, and then inside of the legs and under here a little bit. Not so much under here, but all of this will be covered in material and then the inside part of that will also be covered in material. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here. And I did both the glue and the crazy glue again for this. So I'm going to line that up. I'm going to take my clamps and I'm going to clamp it together. Okay, so once you have it all clipped up, the legs clipped together and the front and the sides and all clipped, then you want to let it dry. All right? So, on part two, I'm going to show you how to do this with the little fluffy um, gems and stuff to make it girly. So, to finish up part one, you should have two of these left and two of these. 
and that's it. That's all you have left. All right, and I will show you on part two how to do this and how to do the part with this and covering it. All right, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you in the next step.